Tara Flava lo ingoli Tara Loma Lani Yermia Allen and you're listening to I Spy Radio mixing it up. So for my long fancy long fancy for il pa i am man lo antu. Yo ma fucha my for him ma wala cha cha por kala me van fi chi chi this beautiful Wednesday morning. Just as promised uh, uh we were going to put out uh, our we were talking about it yesterday. And now she's finally here. We're putting out our talk back with uh, Miss Impact uh, Services Samoa. Program this morning. Good morning, Litara. Miss Worldwide. That was one of the first questions that we got sent in. Where's Lita from? Oh, that's good. That's good. Tell for lovely Tara. Welcome to I Spy Radio. I know that this is uh, your first uh, radio interview. Yes. And of course, you are you are one of uh, the contestants in Mola Misa Moa this year. How excited are you for the pageant? So excited. Yeah. Yes. A little bit of nerves because I want to do this well. Yeah, yeah. But feeling all the love from everyone's support and it's just crazy how fast the time's gone. We've got one more week and then all the girls are here. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And you were just telling us off air that you guys. Uh, you guys arrived from New Zealand just a few months ago. Oh, yeah. You wanted to attend the Anofale program yes. with uh, the Onomere production. And Saulo Amainga Anofale program, and here we are. Here we are here today. Here we are. <laughs> <laughs> but, but Mole Litara, before we do uh, move on with our program, please, uh, the people want to know, uh, you know, or filming at Fanga, why, or what you do at the moment, you're working or in school. Can you tell us a little bit more about yourself? Yes. So I'm uh, proud to make Tai Samoa from Samoa, but I also hail from uh, South Africa and uh, parts of Scotland. Yeah. I come from what you would call a fruit salad family. <laughs> <laughs> We've got um, family in New Zealand, family in Samoa, but I'm a proud daughter of uh, uh, Reverend Lale Yermia yeah. and uh, the late Tifile Alama Yermia. So... Uh, it's been a long journey of, of coming back home and back and yes, forth yes. from New Zealand. So I've done all my schooling in New Zealand. But um, my, my mum and dad would always send me back every school holidays to come oh, look after. That's good, that's good though. <laughs> the koinga yeah. and the lomakua. And so all my childhood was Fastotai Hard. Yeah. And very proud to um, have a lot of my childhood there. And then uh, some 20 years later, I've returned back to move here permanently, not okay. just for holidays, yeah. but to live here and uh, live and breathe the Samoan life. Oh, wow. ah. So that, that is happening right now. You are moved back yes. for, for good. Yes. Very, very nice. Mm -hmm. Of course, um, well, I, just, I found out that your background, you graduated in New Zealand and your background is uh, teaching. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yes, and uh, that is uh, you teach English and Pacific literature, yes. which is very important overseas uh, because overseas to never lose who they are, uh, yeah. never lose their culture. Yes. Well, we have so many Samoan, so many Pacific kids overseas, and I think the loss of the Anganu overseas is really, really felt. And so I really wanted to be a part of bridging that gap. And so once I finished my degree um, focusing on Pacific studies as a Tsirisiya Te Aiwa scholar, I went and, and did my certificate in teaching because I thought, man, there's no point doing all this research if we can't give it back to our kids that are so nice. in need, ah. yeah. especially for uh, kids in Samoa. You know, at least they have the Anganu'u here in our beautiful country. But for the kids who are growing up in different circumstances, especially in New Zealand, we need to remind them, yeah. hey, you're Samoan too, and it's important to connect to your whatsinomanga. Very nice. That's true. Always give back. Uh, yeah. Always give back. Uh, especially our yeah. you know, remember. So all our overseas family and friends listening right now here on island, Hey, they're just crocs. Give them away. <laughs> Give it all away. Show me the money. <laughs> Give me the money. <laughs> 
Of course, uh, that's right, guys. Let me tell you, when you're chanting your fancy chanting, I'm not going to say ya li tara. And of course, uh, we were also talking off air about uh, how uh, very uh, difficult the pageant is for this year. Fifteen sulima ya oi, but all the backgrounds are different. Uh, how excited are you to step out there and show your talent and express a little bit more about yourself to Samoa come pageant day? I'm very excited. <clears throat> I think, um, you know, there's 15 contestants and people look at it, oh my gosh, there's so many, but what a great opportunity to showcase the talent and the 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 knowledge of our Tamaki Tai Samoa. Yeah. I think the standard is so high this year. That's right. And so that's what makes me so excited. It's it's. Or for a challenge for all of us to represent Tamaki Tai Samoa well. Yeah. And um, I think all the girls coming from overseas, as well as the girls here back home, they're all going to bring it. So That's right, yeah. It's going to be fun. Well, speaking of talent, I, I didn't know I was just asking Lee Tara, you, you play rugby, yeah? Yes. Damn. You know, got to balance, got to balance. <laughs> you know, the grace. Yeah. Yeah, and the... And the scary. And the scary. <laughs> I would have thought, you know, honestly, I would have thought you played like netball or volley. No, yeah? no, 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 no. Gotta be, uh, gotta show people where they stand. Uh, ah. Real island girl. Ah. Hey, uh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, uh, of course, uh, just before uh, we head back into a song break, of course, we asked uh, Samo if they do have any questions uh, to send through. And uh, one of our listeners uh, sent through this question uh, that I wrote down. What will you use your platform on if you are given the chance to represent Samoa as a Miss Samoa? Yeah. As the Miss Samoa. I think um, giving back to our youth is really important for me. And I think for a lot of us, we always um, recognize that our youth are struggling with a lot more problems than other generations. Yes. Or maybe... Uh, greater challenges I, I see it as. And so what I would um, love to serve Samoa with is is making sure that in terms of uh, our hope for our kids and our social media, but also their connection with their ainga is, is served. Ah, yes. and, and making sure that they're reminded to always come back and serve Samoa, but also come back and serve their family because we're seeing more and more today that our kids are uh, pulling away and... And um, those rates of, of harsh things are, are coming through with uh, mental health and yeah. lack of hope. So I'd be focusing on that. Because the numbers, like on the news, involved in the case and it's the numbers have risen like the past five years. We talked about it nonstop on the radio. On gaming, the numbers are just out of this world. So it would be really nice, you know, if you do get the chance to be Miss Samoa. That would be a great uh, face to focus on uh, yes. for the youth. To pulang at salavo, ato faano logo mamay le chance to porkalami. Lee Tara is our ambassador. <laughs> Just been putting out our uh, talk back, Lenita, with Miss Impact Services Samoa. Later, my tae Lee Tara. And of course, an issue for your facility, Salafa, my foot, Lemano, and Tudu Maratua. If you want uh, Lee Tara to know your question, make sure you send it through to 104 or send it through your our Ice by Radio Facebook page. Uh, but of course, we were just discussing off air about uh, your sponsor. What is uh, the Impact Services Samoa? Yes, so they're an amazing business. Impact Services are um, covered by lots of different um, services to serve our community in Samoa. So we have our Impact Builders. Shout out to our brothers and our uncles um, working on sites at the moment. And so uh, these guys are working in construction. They're uh, making houses. They're yeah. making all types of things. Um, I was on the site yesterday and, and seeing some of the work that they're doing. We also have a printing business, nice. and so um, it's a great way to serve our community through that as well. And lastly, a shout out to our amazing aunties and sisters at Ely's Boutique. Um, they're working hard, and it's been um, a real honor to wear a lot of their clothes and their pulitasis, um, lots of their different designs. So lots of creativity going on in the workshop, and uh, highly recommend checking them out. Where do you know the, the location? Yes, so right next to St. Mary's uh, Primary School. You yeah, can yeah. check them out right there next to um, the cafe. That's right, guys. Of course, Oliva and Tavoy, we also have a, uh, you guys have a uh, Facebook page. Yes. Impact Services Samoa. Give us a like, give us a follow. 
and we'll be happy to uh, attend to your needs if I sell fully matter services that we offer but uh, one of the questions that we were asking wanted me to ask you Lee Tara can you tell us your, your role models mm. that you have in your life sure yeah um, I, I always talk about this specific role model in, in anything that I do but my uh, grandmothers um, specifically Tifile Alama Yeremia um, I think for Tamaita Isa more our matriarchs have an important role for our our lives. Ah, they Certainly. they raise us. We're not just raised by one mom. Yeah. We're raised by fifty <laughs> moms. And um, my grandmother was a big part of, of being that um, motherly figure for me. And um, so her service in the Ifakasa Church, yeah. um, specifically in Fastotai, but all over Samoa and, and all over the world, is she's a very humble lady. Yeah. And, I always use these two words to describe her, grit and grace. <laughs> I, she was very graceful, but when she needed to, she pushed through and she was resilient. And so for me, as a Tamaita Isa Amor, it's not about being perfect. Uh, it's, it's about pushing through and being resilient and having that uh, combination of grit and grace. That's so true. Uh, like uh, mama, grandmother, yeah. your, your mom. Sorry, they keep us in order. Ole mele for my kamiksha mo e fa alo alo mo fa alo. Ia e fa alo alo mo fa alo ngo awa ko fefe kiga. I'm telling you, my grandma ko i kamanga i a makale aso e e u mai po ala e e a. Ole fenga lo fe a u mali. And one of the things that um, since we talk about grandmas is le mele ole ele ikuli ko e u maku e e failing a me a. You know e a u maka maiki and and that shows through. Uh, the teachings from our grandma and from mama. Yes, some of the lessons we welcome, some of the lessons we don't get a choice. Yeah, on. that's right, that's right. Yeah, they they teach through the kiss and and the slap. Oh. Yeah. and the punch. <laughs> and the punch. <laughs> uh, but yes, sa alili man ay alam na sa fa sa charno ang iya lenei chayao awafo ita pin pinanga mo le misa mo. But how are preparations though? Um, uh, are you ready? I, you said earlier that you are ready, but a little bit nervous. You, but mm. well, you are excited to get out there. Yeah. Nervous because I want to do it well. Ah, yeah, we, yeah. I think um, I always look at the Miss Samoa pageant. It's not just a pageant. Yeah. Samoa, we have re-indigenized it. We have made it our own to make sure that our anganu is, is held up. Um, the fasino manga of our of our Tamaita Samoa is upheld. So the nerves are just wanting to do right by yeah. the platform and do right by our our strong woman. Um, but definitely excited. Yeah. I think um, serving Samoa has always been a big passion of mine, but also connecting with other sisters, yeah. like what I had the opportunity to do with the Anofale program. I think that will be a real highlight. And of course, uh, with this year, you know, the Miss Samoa is pretty much on a high with uh, Moe Moana, uh, not only being the Miss Samoa, but uh, uh, also being the Miss Pacifica. How is her as an inspiration for, for you guys in heading into the pageant? Oh my gosh, I think um, Moe Moana really embodies the Alanga Opua. It's a lole, lisa, moe, lanatu, tau tala, ma. Yeah, so, so for her, I we look at her on social media and we can see how she serves our, our, our communities overseas. But seeing her in person here, she is so down to earth. She walks the talk. And I think she's done such a great um, job at carrying on her mother's legacy, yeah. but also creating her own. And so uh, for us who are carrying on in her footsteps, um, it's a big challenge to carry that on and, yeah. and make sure Samoa's served well. One of the other questions, just before we head over to our songwork, one of the questions that was sent through by our listeners is, Heading into the pageant, can you tell us what are your strengths that uh, you have uh, the other girls might not have? Yeah. Well, how serious. I've never <laughs> seen you. I, uh, oh, oh, failure, let me wow. say I'm a, I spy. Take it easy. <laughs> I'm having my warm-up of the pageant questions. <laughs> um, oh, man. I would say my... My uh, strengths are that I've had a lot of um, background work in Pacific research. Yeah. So I, I'm very well um, versed in Pacific research, Pacific academia, also just service in Pacific communities. Um, I've uh, completed my Bachelor of Arts in, in the University of, of Victoria. And a lot of our community there is well known for uh, um, 
forging the way in, in that area. I also have a love for Sivasaya more yeah, yeah. and our creative arts, and I've been doing that since a uh, young age. I've uh, been doing that since high school and our Hamilton Girls High School uh, Polynesian Dance Group. And then I uh, went on to serve our community in Wellington and um, did a lot of work through Pacific Dance Aotearoa and our associate there. Yeah. Um, and now we're here. And so a lot of my strengths are uh, in deeply in our, our siva, um, our, our academia. And uh, also as a faia onga, I, I love to teach. So yeah. I will be implementing that into my um, campaign as well. That's right, guys. <laughs> Or the test run for the Miss Samoa <laughs> questioning. And of course, we just received word that today is also your birthday. Yes. Oh, thanks for telling us. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to Lucia Prince for uh, mentioning, mentioning your birthday is today. But remember, uh, today's your birthday, uh, but you're not going to be focusing on your birthday. Uh, I know, celebrate birthday after the pageant. I'm like, I'm going to celebrate your birthday. I'm going to celebrate your birthday. I have a good one, I'm like cheese and crackers. Uh, pad thai. Pad thai. <laughs> but of course, uh, a big good morning to Lucy, our prince. Are you on now, prince? Uh, yeah, I'm going to go to the birthday of the two men who are going to be here. I'm going to go to the birthday of the men who are going to be here. You know, I'm going to go to the birthday of the men who are going to be here. I'm going to go to the birthday of the men who are going to be here. Yeah. And Momoni and Joy, the family of the family of the team of the family. How did I miss it? Why? Today's Lee Tower's birthday. Of her. Well, yeah, I left my love for Lee Tower. Sent me uh, some video of her. So, happy birthday, uh, Lee Tower. I'm going to have a cake. So. But <laughs> since we don't have the cake, yeah. you, our prince, is going to be singing. <laughs> Happy wow. birthday to Lee Tara, all by himself this morning. So, Prince, <coughs> Prince, take it away. Maria Kaus Faka Sefa. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, ready? Ready. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. Happy birthday, dear Litara, Miss Impact Services Samoa. Happy birthday to you. For Samoa. Manuelo was so far now. Manuelo was so far now. Wow, this is awkward. Manuelo was so far <laughs> <now>. <laughs> Manu yellow was so fun now. Hip hip. Hey. Hip hip. Hey. <laughs> happy, happy birthday, Lee Tara. Thank you very much for being here at I Spy Radio. And hopefully, this, the start of this, will also inspire other girls to, to come on radio mm. in preparation for uh, the Miss uh, Moore pageant. But is there anything else you'd like to put out uh, to uh, the listeners, to the sponsors, your family, just before you head out? Yes. I just want to shout out to all my family and all of our team over at. Uh, impact services um, all my love to you all and lastly I just wanted to encourage our youth uh, yeah. keep going with your studies keep uh, pushing through we know that today's uh, situations and life is hard but you are stronger and um, trust that the Lord is guiding you trust that God is with you and trust that your Ainga loves you very much so, all the best with preparations. I've been Benanga Ia, Mole Misa, Mo Pageant, Leneto Sanga. And of course, uh, you're always welcome back here, I Spy, in the future if you do want to come back on radio. Thank you, thank you very much for being here today. Four minutes after nine, guys, let's head back into the music. Don't worry, we'll be posting uh, the video of uh, the interview on social media. Do you know what I just found out? ofu. <laughs> That's crazy. Anyway. <laughs> Fireflies. <laughs> you would not believe your eyes if ten million fireflies lit up the world as I felt. 